What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as a D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and the OneNote for Business Connector, and we are looking at action which is Create Page in Section. So this action allows you to create a page in a section using Power Automate. We can pass any details we want in, so we can take details from any other systems or from user inputs, and then we can create a page with that detail in a new in a section that we specify. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate, I have a manual trigger because I just want to trigger this flow. We can do all sorts of other stuff afterwards. Then I click on new step. And then I can search OneNote and we can find this OneNote business connector here. The third option down is create page in a section. So if I click on this, I then get three things, three parameters that I need to pass in. So I need to pass in the notebook key, the notebook selection, and the page content. So the notebook key is the notebook that we want to select. So in this instance, I have three different notebooks. The one I'm going to choose is this MCJ notebook down here. It's conveniently stored in my SharePoint. Um, so just a note, you will need to store your OneNote or have access to your OneNote uh, wherever it may be, whether it's in SharePoint or OneDrive, to be able to use this connector. Next, I can choose the notebook section. So it, once I choose the notebook, it will populate a list of the sections inside, uh, like from my notebook. So whatever sections I've got in my notebook, it's going to pull them out here and I can choose them. So I'm going to choose this flow section one. And what this is then going to do is we're going to create a page inside of that section. The last thing asked for is the actual page content. So what are we actually creating in this page? So running this flow will create an additional page in that section, but what do we want to put in it? So we can put in any sort of messages. So we could say, um, you know, 24th slash 09 slash 2020, which is today's date. And we could say, um, you know, day, uh, day lock. Uh, got up, fed the, uh, the cats, uh, booted up laptop, um, had lunch, uh, etc. We can put you know whatever content we, we want into here and we can do we can do all the formatting stuff so we can make the text a bit bigger, like this big, and we can add some bolds in around here. Um, and we can do all the sorts of um, things that we usually do with the formatting and changing fonts, etc. And we can bring direct content in so we can take content from anywhere else. So any other systems, any other data sources, we can pull that content in. And we can put it directly into this page content to so a really useful thing. So we will test this out. So click on test. I'll perform a trigger action. We'll save and test. Do, 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 do. And we'll hit run the flow. Click on done. And then we hit green bar. Yay, it's successful. So we can see that it has done what it's supposed to do. And then we can switch over to the notebook. Uh, and the notebook will have a bit of a problem because I already had that section open. So I'll refresh the page. And there we can see the content. So as we had with the other actions, we do get a little bit of formatting in here. Um, so we may need to play around with it a little bit to take certain bits out and add certain bits in, but at least we get the gist of it. We can add content into these things really quickly and allow us to sort of like programmatically or systematically, uh, you know, create actions to do stuff. So we can, you know, add stuff in. So say we want to, um, you know, we start a new project or we, we open a OneNote from our CDS or our Direct 365 instance, uh, and we can have on creation of that notebook or you know or, or some other action we can look it up and then go and, uh, and bind it and, and add certain pieces of, of uh, pages into into certain sections so this i think these are things that you need to fill out so you need to fill out um you know these questions you need to ask these questions you need to ask these questions and we need to have a signed off sheet or something like that so you could use this as like a, a guide or like a template thing or even we could just pull information from certain things on certain days and put that content in here so I think it's really useful, but as always, I want to know what you guys think about it. So let me know down below in the comments what you think about this action. Do you use it? Have you found any drawbacks? The, the formatting thing is a bit of a drawback for me, so I'm still working on ways to resolve that. But let me know what you think. Have you resolved this? Have you not? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.